is Veronica, also known as Leah V. I run an organisation called Set the Flow, where I help young people and adults with rap, with lyric writing, with singing, with performing. I also teach yoga. Under my alias Leah V, I sing, I rap, I write lyrics, I perform, I record, basically an all-rounder. And today I am here to give you some tips. Rapping is a musical form of vocal delivery. It incorporates rhythm, it incorporates rhyme, and most of the time it incorporates music. So you'll have a beat playing in the background. Here is an example of a rap. No stress, everything bless, we only making progress, success in excess, accepting no less, yo yes, process, creating wholeness, express, represent the lotus, connect, focus, reset, balance, switch the tempo, make it happen, build the strength up, break the pattern, engage the core, prepare for the challenge, independent, bare potential, selfless actions become fundamental, law of attractions, essential, share the secret, become the vessel, open up the right conversation every petal needs a strong foundation new station gone transformation be on repeat a sweet combination a great way to get familiar with the music is to listen to a lot of different artists do some research and see which rap artists you like to listen to and think about the artists that you like and decide why you like them. What is it about them that you enjoy? Find out about who influenced them. My biggest influence was Eminem. I also enjoyed listening to Lauren Hill and Missy Elliott, um, Miss Dynamite, Salt and Pepper. Like, this is probably the most important thing you want to concentrate on. Keeping in time with the beat. When we rap, we're speaking, but we're speaking in time. Most of the time you're going to have music playing and you want to be aware of that beat. In music, we have beats and we have bars. Okay, so usually you would have four beats in one bar. So one, two three, four, one, two, three, four. So when you hear that piece of hip hop music, you wanna establish the beat. You wanna find that beat. First of all, it gets your head bopping. You might wanna move, dance, whatever. You, you fit, you've got to feel it, you've got to get into it. So it's most important when you're rapping that you're feeling the music, like you've got to feel the music. <laughs> Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to express yourself. So we've got this beat. And then when we apply our lyrics to the beat, you want to think about one, two, three, four. So the most basic way to think about it is applying one word per beat. Okay, so if we've got one, two, three, four, we think about our name. So if I take my name, Veronica, I've got four syllables in my name. So, Veronica, Veronica, Ver. Ro, ni, ka. That is, that's the most basic. Then we can start playing around with the spaces within the beats. If we use the line, I'm rapping to the beat, the I'm is going to come in before the one, and the rap is the one. I'm rapping to the beat. I'm rapping to the beat. I'm rapping to the beat. Another example would be on the mic, 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 one, on the mic, on the mic, on the mic. So now you can hear some music playing. This is a hip hop instrumental by Dr. Dre. And just to give you an example, so you can hear one, two, three, four, you can bop your head. Tap your feet, clap your hands, click your fingers. One, two, three, four. So if we break it down to put my name in, you find those one, two, three, four, 
Veronica, Veronica, Veronica. So that's the really basic, basic, basic. Then if we want to switch it up and make it sound a bit more interesting, we bring in our next line. I'm rapping to the beat. 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 And then finally, we take that next phrase, which is on the mic, on the mic, on the mic. On the mic, on the mic, on the mic. On the mic, on the mic, on the mic. On the mic, on the mic, on the mic. On the mic, on the mic, on the mic. On the mic, on the mic, on the mic. The next thing I would suggest is is to rap along to the rappers that you like. So pick a rap song and learn it. Listen to the song and learn it like you would with a song that you would sing. It's the same principle to learn the rap. You want to learn it so well that you can memorize it so you don't need to look at the lyrics and you want to be able to deliver that track exactly the same way that the the original was delivered. So you need to be aware again of the beats coming in perfectly so so no mistakes if you were to go to a karaoke and 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 rap it like you got you got you got to deliver it the way it's it's been written and the way it's been performed then you can actually find the instrumental of the beat you'll find that on youtube you'll find that online type in any 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 well known rap song any instrumental and you'll be able to find that and then when you get confident with wrapping it to the original instrumental, then you can search for another hip hop instrumental and try wrapping it over a different beat. That will challenge you and test you and start to help you to, to develop your versatility, which is really important as a rap artist. Look at the rappers, if you look at performers, people on stage in general, so much of it is about confidence, owning what they're doing you know, really stepping up, um, not being shy. Like this takes time if you're new to it and if you haven't had experience performing, it's a process and it, and, it, and it grows over time. We build up our confidence the more we do something. So see how confident you can get with this rap, like practice it, practice it and really start performing it like you're that artist on stage. You want to start practicing it without the music, but still be able to deliver it with the same flow. So like I did with my rap at the beginning where you didn't hear me deliver it with any music. I'm still hitting the beats. I'm still keeping it in time. I'm still flowing as if the music was there. You'll start to develop your style. You'll start to understand about your flow. And I would say really, you know, we are, we are English, we are British we have our accent and a lot of the hip hop music that you, you're gonna be hearing is from the States. And sometimes, and I think even me at the beginning, I would rap with an American accent because it was easier to flow that way. It sounded better when I tried to rap in my accent, I was like, no, I don't really, I don't really think it sounds good and I, I feel more, more confident doing it in an American accent. But we've got to keep it real. We've got to keep it real with with who we are, I mean, honestly, to get respect, for you, respecting yourself, respecting the music, keep, keep it real. Um, and that comes with what you're rapping about, but also about what you're delivering. So if you're from, from Birmingham or Manchester or anywhere in the UK and you're rapping with an American accent, it kind of defeats the purpose of keeping it real, unless you're doing a parody. But I would say the more you get into it, you will find your sound, you will find your style, and you will get confident with rapping with your own voice. Just like when you learn anything, it just takes time and practice and determination. But if it's something that you're really into, then go for it. Boys, girls, doesn't matter who you are, we all have a voice, we all have a story to tell, Again, when we write our lyrics, we want to be 
expressing ourselves, telling our story. We all have a story, it doesn't matter what, how old you are, you've had experiences, you've lived life. And you can talk about that, you can rap about that, you can sing about that. I would say that it's important again to keep to the facts, keep to what you have experienced and not go and talk about things that you live a certain lifestyle and you do certain things because it makes you bigger than, than you maybe you feel you are. You can write about your dreams, your goals, the things that you, you want to be achieving, but don't write about it as if to say you do it when you, when you don't. I would, I would strongly advise that too. Obviously, when you're practicing someone else's rap, then that's a, that's a different ball game because you're just you're just rapping someone else's lyrics. But when it comes to writing your own lyrics, tell your story and keep it real. I hope that that has been helpful. If you want to reach out to me for any other advice, feel free to hit me up. The contact details are going to come up at the end of the video. Take care and be safe. Peace out, everybody. I want to give a shout out to Play Place Youth Clubs and all the young people in Croydon, Bromley and Dartford.